In this video I'm going to show you how I created this random game by using different AI tools. First of all I'm going to use ChatGPT to generate the themes for the game, the gameplay, the asset descriptions and the code. Then I'll take the descriptions from ChatGPT and give them to Midjourney to generate some concept art. In the end I'm going to take the concepts from Midjourney and use Blender to recreate those concepts as 3D models so that I can use them in the game. I needed some themes for the game so I asked ChatGPT to generate three themes that I can base the game on. As you can see it came up with paper, snipers and barrels. Please smash the subscribe and like button and hit the bell icon before we take a closer look at the game concept. Let's take a close look at the description that ChatGPT came up with based on the three themes. In this game, there is a town that the player needs to defend. The player is a sniper and as you can see, he has long and curly hair like every single action hero ever to exist. The player needs to defend the town against an invading army of enemy soldiers, but these soldiers are hiding behind barrels. And the tricky part here is that you need to kill the enemies without hitting the barrels. When an enemy is killed, they will drop a piece of paper with important information on it that you can use for upgrades. The game ends when the enemy soldiers have been defeated or when the base has been destroyed. Now that the game concept is in place, we need a description of the environment. So I asked ChatGPT to generate some descriptions for the environment and it came up with four different options. I chose the one with the urban environment and then I took that description and gave it to Midjourney to generate some concept art. As you can see Midjourney gave me a lot of options and in the end I ended up picking these four for the game. All we have to do now is take these four concepts and create them in Blender so that we can put in our game. Let's do that. And just like that, we have an environment for our game. Now we can start implementing some gameplay. The first thing we need to do is to add our handsome action hero. So let's do that. Then I asked ChatGPT to generate a player script that would allow the player to move, jump and climb ladders. Anyway, let's create a sniper rifle. I asked Midjourney to generate some concepts for the rifle and these are the ones it came up with. I then picked this rifle to be put in the game, so let's jump into Blender to create this model. I then asked ChatGPT to generate a weapon script that would allow me to zoom, shoot with recoil and have weapon bob when I move. It was very easy for GPT to do that because it generated a usable script right away. So we have a game, we have a weapon, but we have nothing to shoot yet. That's why the next thing I'm going to add is the barrel. As you can see behind me, Midjourney came up with a lot of different concepts for this barrel and in the end I ended up going with something very simple as you can see right here. All that's left to do now is to take this concept and create it in Blender. Now we have a barrel for our game, but it doesn't do anything yet, so we need to ask ChatGPT to generate a script that can make it explode when we shoot it. It took a few attempts to get the explosion right, but in the end we ended up with something usable. After that I asked ChatGPT to generate a particle system for the explosion. I had to make a few adjustments to make it look right, and I know it's not perfect, but I think it's acceptable. We almost have something that looks like a game now. We have an environment the player can move around in, we have a weapon for the player, and we also have a barrel. Next thing we have to add is the soldier. As you can see, there were a lot of different options for the soldier, and in the end I ended up going with this one. Now we have the soldier model, however we also need to rig and animate it before we can use it. We need a walk animation, a run animation, and a death animation. All we have to do now is to set the explosive force on the barrel so that we can kill our soldier. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Maybe we should try to freeze the Y rotation on the rigid body. And that looks a bit better. So now we just need to adjust the explosive force a bit. Let's try with 100. We're going to use an animation instead of explosion force to kill the soldier. Right now the soldier will die if it's close to the explosion. However, we also need to be able to destroy other things that are in close proximity, for example another barrel. 
We can fix that by asking ChatGPT to generate an explosion script and add that script to everything that needs to explode. With that added, we will be able to create a chain reaction of explosions. We will be able to create a chain reaction of explosions. Anyway, let's start implementing some gameplay. Soldiers will spawn random positions and move towards the base with their barrels. When a soldier has placed the barrel, it will run away and take cover. There will be three objectives, and when one objective is destroyed, the spawning soldiers will move on to the next one. If the third objective is destroyed, it's game over. Let's ask ChatGPT to generate a script for the gameplay, and then we can test it out. After a few adjustments, the code worked as intended. As you can see, objective 1 and 2 has 3 lives, and the last objective, which is the base, only has 1. The enemy soldiers are using ray casting to verify if they hit the player. This means that the player gets shot the second they move into line of sight. To make it more fair, we will have to add some kind of targeting delay and a visualization of the shot. This gives the player a chance to avoid the shots and a visualization of the direction the shot is coming from. To make that happen, we need to ask ChatGPT to make a lot of changes to the game. It took a bit of adjusting, but in the end, I think I made it work quite well. <gasps> We're actually done with the base of the game right now, so we can start adding extra things to it. So let's ask ChatGPT to see which kind of extra enemies we should add to the game. Among these suggestions, we had an enemy with a rocket launcher, a van, and the last one was a helicopter. Out of all the suggestions that Midjourney came up with, I picked this rocket launcher. All that's left to do now is to jump into Blender to create it. The rocket should be pretty easy for the player to avoid, but if the player gets hit, he will get a knockback and lose health. We should also give the player the ability to shoot the rocket mid-air so that it explodes. I wanted a smoke trail after the rocket, and the first suggestion was to use a particle system, but I wasn't really satisfied with the way it looked. The second suggestion was to use a line render component, which I think was a way better option with a better result. Next up was the knockback. I joined it directly from ChatGPT and pasted it into my code. And as you can see, it yielded a great result right away. We also need to be able to shoot the projectile, but we already have the code in our project, so we just need to implement it in the projectile script. Next up is the van, these are all the suggestions and this is the one I picked. So let's jump into Blender to create it. We also need to be able to make the van explode, so I broke down the model into different pieces. The van will contain three soldiers, a driver, a sniper and a runner with a barrel. The van will drive towards the objective and when it has been reached, the barrel will be armed and the soldiers will run for cover. If the player shoots the barrel, the van will explode. If the player shoots the driver, the remaining soldiers will exit the vehicle and try to complete their objectives. Let's start by making the van explodable. We also need to be able to break the glass so that we can shoot the driver. Shoot the glass! Making the van move had a couple of mishaps at first, but in the end it worked out. The last enemy we need to create is the helicopter. I picked this one because I figured it would go well with the style of the other assets. When the helicopter spawns, it will fly towards the objective and drop a barrel when it's on top of it. And if the player shoots the pilot, the helicopter will crash. The only thing that's left to do now is to ask ChatGPT to generate the helicopter script. I thought it would be very easy to create a script that could handle that, but it took the AI a couple of tries to get it right. Making the helicopter crash look good also took a couple of tries. Right now there are no consequences if we shoot a barrel, so we need to figure out what's gonna happen if a barrel explodes. ChatGPT suggested that a tough enemy that is hard to kill will spawn if we shoot a barrel by mistake. This is just in. A new enemy has been added to the game. The only way to kill it is by shooting it in the face. 
the enemy will spawn and run towards the objective while screaming. If it reaches the objective, it will explode. We are almost done with the game, but we still need to implement the last theme, because right now we only have barrels and snipers, but the last theme, which is papers, also need to be implemented. So we need to ask ChatGPT what kind of upgrades these papers are going to give us, and we also need to ask it if it can create some code that will allow the soldiers to drop a paper when they die. We also need to ask what upgrades we need to implement in the game. The AI chose more ammo, faster reload speed, and increased health. All that's left to do now is to try out the game, but before we do that I would like to tell you that you can follow the link in the description below to download this or any of my other projects and assets for free. To make the game a bit harder, I asked ChatGPT to add a trigger feature that will arm the barrels if they get hit by a passing soldier. Anyway, let's try out the game. We start the game by pressing the red button. And after a countdown, the game will start. To be fair, the game is a bit hard and I'm pretty sure it has a lot of bugs which is to be expected when the code is written by AI. I can only make it to wave 8, so why don't you try it out yourself to see if you can do better. And that is it, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.